Out of the qualified relievers in 2022, only three still have an ERA of zero. These guys are Josh Hader, Arlen Garcia, and JP Fireisen. And today, we're going to be looking at the dominance of JP Fireisen this season. Out of the three relievers, Fireisen has thrown the most innings at 23, and he is the only one to not allow an extra base hit as well. Let's take a look at why JP Fireisen has been so dominant this season. Let's give a little context to JP first. He was drafted in 2014 by Cleveland in the 16th round out of a D3 school, University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. D3 lives matter, baby. All I'm saying, play ball anywhere you dominate, they're going to find you, especially the Rays eventually. <laughs> He's been part of some bigger name trades in his career so far. He was traded to the Yankees in the Andrew Miller trade. He was later traded to the Brewers in the fall of 2019, made his MLB debut with the Brewers in 2020, and then halfway through the 2021 season, he was traded to the Rays in the Willie Adamas trade. For Willie Adamas, the Rays got back JP Fireisen and Andrew Rasmussen, who I guess happened to be catch partners on the Brewers. So they were sent over in a package and they were already close within the Brewers clubhouse. The Rays have always known what they're doing when it comes to the prospects and getting these two guys back for Willie Adamas at the time was a little head scratching even with Adamas's poor performance but both Willie Adamas and the Brewers benefited and the Rays have benefited tremendously as well in the 2022 season JP Fireisen and Drew Rasmussen are putting in work JP Fireisen he's got that fire in his eyes son because boy he has not given up a run an earned run I should add he has given up one run but no earned run so his era is still a zero and not an extra base hit this year at all we'll start with the fastball he throws it 45 percent of the time 92 to tops 95 and has a spin rate of just under 2500 rpm for his four seam fastball he has a negative seven run value which is tied for seventh best in major league baseball he throws it up in the zone and up and out of the zone to induce swings he has a pretty good spin rate so i see a lot of guys swinging under the ball moving on to his slider that he throws 29 percent of the time 86 to tops 89 miles per hour a spin rate of 2700 rpm it tunnels real well with his fastball and hitters have a hard time determining whether it's going to be that fastball up or slider away and down a lot of the swings and misses and punch outs i've seen fire eyes and get have been that slider off the plate or down in the zone that hitters chase especially right-handed batters to me it looks like he has two sliders almost one that breaks horizontally more and one that has that sharp vertical drop i'll talk about this later he has to keep his slider down but when it's down boy is it deadly let's talk about his change up now 26% of the time he throws it 86 to 90 miles per hour and mostly to left-handed batters. Why has he improved so much and why has he been so effective for the Rays this year? I think it's because of his control. He is walking way less batters than last year. In 2021, he had a 14.1% walk rate. That is horrible compared to 5.7% this year. He's walking way less batters. He's in the zone. As a reliever, that's what you want. There is literally one outing they can watch and learn all about JP Fireisen, and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. It was on May 25th when he threw one inning and struck out the side. He literally had every single pitch working on display in his arsenal. He got a punch out with his fastball. He got a punch out with his slider and a punch out with his changeup. And that's all you need to see from him. Will he continue to have a zero ERA the whole season? I doubt it. Baseball's very hard like that. It just takes one guy to run into the ball for a home run. And in this day and age of guys hitting home runs out, even with the balls being a little different, not flying as far, he's gotten lucky this year so far. Because on April 17th against the White Sox, teammate left fielder josh lowe had to rob a home run to keep his era at zero so jp you owe josh dinner for sure for that one since he's a reliever i can just go to baseball savant and watch almost every single pitch that he's thrown because the sample size is so small with 23 innings pitched that there's some tendencies that I've noticed. I've seen some sliders up in the zone that are hanging that just haven't been hit yet. Those pitches can definitely have some damage done to them. Also, if his fastball isn't up and out of the zone, if it hangs in the middle of the plate, those are ones that are getting crushed as well. His FIP is a 1.48 
and his expected FIP is a 3.21. So as you can see in the expected stats, the expected FIP, he should have a higher FIP and ERA as well. However, that's not going to stop me from talking about JP Fireisen because he is a true example of what the Rays organization has done, turning guys that aren't too good with their previous team into studs with them. Like I said earlier, JP Fireisen, he's got that fire in his eyes, son. So the rest of the league should watch out when JP Fireisen comes up on the bump because he's going to shut it down for the Rays. Let me know down in the comments some other players I need to keep an eye out on that are balling out this year, just like JP. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for some more awesome MLB content they will be coming your way in the future. With that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.